Here we are in Evergreen Cemetery on Cemetery Hill in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. A short distance east of here is Culp's Hill. There were a lot of people named Culp that lived in Gettysburg prior to the outbreak of the war. One of them was Wesley Culp. He moved to Virginia and eventually joined a Virginia infantry unit. And at the Battle of Gettysburg, Wesley Culp was in the 2nd Virginia and was killed somewhere in the fighting for Culp's Hill on the second or third day of the battle. Two weeks before the Battle of Gettysburg, Wesley Culp's unit was in Virginia at a place called Winchester. And on June 15, 1863, at the Battle of Stevenson's Depot, Wesley Culp's unit met face to face with the 87th Pennsylvania. Company F was from Gettysburg. After the fighting, Wesley was walking along the battlefield and he recognized people who had been killed or wounded in the fighting, people he had gone to school with. One of those guys was Jack Skelly. Jack asked Wesley if he ever finds himself back in Gettysburg, could he deliver a message to his family? And some people say his girlfriend, that he was dying and might never see them again. As fate would have it, Two weeks later, Wesley found himself back in Gettysburg. And on the evening of July 1st, he stopped at his sister's house and told her he had a message for Jack's mom. But the message was never delivered because Wesley was killed in the fighting. Jack Skelly died in a hospital in Virginia. But of course, who was Jack Skelly's girlfriend? Mary Virginia Wade. And on the morning of the third day of the battle, Jenny was baking bread for the soldiers when a stray bullet went through the side door of the house, hit her in the back, and she was killed instantly. The only civilian from the town of Gettysburg to be killed in the fighting. As we stand here on Cemetery Hill near the final resting place of Jenny Wade, Jack Skelly, and perhaps Wesley Culp. I am reminded that even in the midst of war, personal relationships were deeply affected.